knows that it belongs to this side of the network so it was just it won't just simply send it over the bridge and it would just simply filter it filter it and discard it so um, all the network traffic from this network would just remain inside um, the network itself okay one other thing we have to say is about aging I forgot to say this um, well dynamic entries uh, aging is applied to them what does aging mean um, for example, when a dynamic entry is entered into the table for, an, uh, for a duration of, for example, 15 to 20 seconds, depending on what you have set, it would actually um, remain at the table until the uh, time is finished and it would just simply pop out uh, out of the table. And well, that's about aging. Well, let's go ahead and talk about a couple of issues that might happen. Uh, when we have actually bridges in our network here as you see we've got a little more complicated actually network with three bridges each bridges each of the bridges has three workstations connected to it okay what happens if for example this computer would send out a packet of a MAC address of a computer that doesn't exist in the network okay first of all this bridge would receive it okay since there's um, no kind of computers in the network that has such a MAC address this uh, bridge would say okay I don't have it in my table so I have to broadcast it so it would broadcast it this way and also it would broadcast it all the way this way this bridge would receive it and say I don't have it so I'm gonna broadcast it it would broadcast it this bridge would receive it and it would say okay I don't have it I have to broadcast it again from this way it was going this bridge was going to broadcast the same packet all the way around here so it broadcast it and it would um, uh, be broadcasted all the way around here and what would happen is um, the network would be completely flooded and in a couple of minutes the complete network would be actually uh, failing and going down and there would be no kind of connectivity because of all the packets that are just destined for nowhere okay okay so one thing that we just um, reviewed is that this computer is going to send a packet out to a computer that doesn't exist in the network this happens actually okay but one other thing that might happen in the network is that this computer is going to send a packet actually destined for example all the way to this computer okay let's see what happens this computer will send the packet all the way to the bridge this bridge would say okay I haven't yet um, received any kind of entries for that MAC address so I have to broadcast it it would broadcast it this way this bridge would say I don't have it so I would uh, simply broadcast it and it this would receive it the other way it, well it has to broadcast it this way too so it would broadcast it all the way this way and this bridge again would receive it okay so um, either would have it in destination as you see here from um, back it, packet um, duplication occurs like that uh, when this computer is going to send one packet because of the broadcast is good that is going to happen at this bridge this bridge received actually two similar packets that are destined for one computer which is this one or this one I don't know which one was it so in order to prevent this what they created is called a spanning tree well what happens with a spanning tree we would say that to remove this okay we would create a spanning tree we would give one of the bridge one of the bridges an ID of one with a um, higher priority and we would give the other ones a two and a three okay let's see what happens here we would give this for example a one we would give this example a two and we would give this a three what happens here is that uh, when the packet is received by this bridge okay it would simply broadcast it all the way this way and it would simply broadcast it all the way this way and the bridge number two and bridge number three the ports that they have here will be simply blocked so that they cannot actually broadcast any uh, packets that are received by them as you see here one would be able to broadcast it to two, to two and three but two and three won't be able to broadcast with the other ports that they have okay so when the tree is actually um, created there would be only one possible way so that um, two computers two workstations in a network could actually connect you for example if this computer here wants to connect to this computer it has to go all the way all the way like this here to this computer and here so that packet duplication won't occur okay so let's go back and see what happens when 
there's um, no destination this computer would just simply send it uh, send a packet with no destination actually with a destination but with a MAC, des MAC address destination that doesn't exist on the network it will simply send it for this bridge, bridge 1 would send it for 3 bridge 1 would send it for 2 as well because it's a broadcast Okay, but what happens when 3 receive, receives it 3 would say okay I received a MAC address it's not in my list and I cannot actually broadcast it this way and 2 would do the same 2 would not be able to broadcast it this this way so it w the packet would actually be dropped since there is no bridges in the network that actually have the MAC address of the destination which was uh, inserted in the packet which was received from PC1 okay so in order to actually uh, for this spanning tree to be created what happens is that each of the bridges all of them have um, bridge IDs and actually priority numbers okay they would be sending BPDU actually data units it's called uh, it's short for bridge protocol data units they would be sending data units including the bridge ID including the priority number that they have including the addresses that they have and a couple of other information that is useful for other bridges so that they could actually create this tree okay so when this cr uh, tree is completely created there would be only one and one possible way for in order to um, one workstation in the network to be um, um, connected to another uh, workstation to uh, to another network for example as we said in order for this computer to connect to another computer it would it, the only possible way would be it to go around all the way here and to be received by this computer okay in the next section we're going to talk about layer 3 forwarding bridging layer 3 bridging excuse me and where as we said the difference is that in layer 3 we don't have any uh, other promiscuous